Chapa, I really hope that he just stirred up hunger in you and basically the answer, as he, he said many times tonight, is the intimacy, is the place of closeness, relationship with Jesus. But where is he? How can you find him? Yeah, you're right. Just point at yourself right now and say, He is in me. He is in me. He's not far away. Heaven is not a delusional type of thing, something that is so far I can't touch it. It's like the universe, you know, the stars is so far away, it's so mystical. No. Heaven is on the inside of you. Because heaven is Jesus. He said the kingdom of God is at hand yes. when he came to the earth. Because he brought in himself. And the testimony I wanted to share with you is what happened to me uh, about a year ago or two years ago maybe. It was on my birthday. And Amber came and visited us. Do you know her? from France, and Elmer, she's a friend to uh, Dennis Walker, but she wrote the book of, um, the, about the Lion of Judah, how she met with the Lion of Judah, transported by the Lion of Judah, and she was in our house, and she started prophesying over me, saying that I can see <coughs> Jesus coming with balloons in his head and bringing some gifts to you. And that was it. And that was really neat. And when she was gone, for three nights after that, I've had the most greatest experiences that I've ever had in my life. Jesus appeared to me three times, three nights. On the first night, we were in a church, and it was a service. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, come to the front because I will want to give you something. At first, I felt ashamed that, oh my goodness, people will look at me and think that, you know, who she is, that she just goes to, to the altar without anybody just calling her there. You know, it was, it was worship time, but I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want the microphone. I just came to the front, because that's what I heard the Lord say. And you know, many times, the Lord is saying something to you to do to step out of your comfort zone because he wants to test you whether you are ready to obey him no matter what. So I didn't care about people. I just went to the front and I stood like this at the altar. People were worshipping. I don't think they, they even noticed me but I was self-conscious a little bit at first. But then for just a minute, Jesus just stood before my face and I felt all the strength leaving my body. The second night, I, uh, I was actually at home just worshipping and I started feeling his presence on such a way that again, all the strength from my body just left and he appeared just for a minute, just watching me how I worship. But the third night, I was so busy with all the things that I've been doing that I just wanted to go to sleep. It was already midnight. And I heard the Lord saying, can you please stay with me a little? And that was so sweet. And I said, of course, Lord. I just dropped everything and I started worshiping the Lord. And what happened is, I can't explain to you, but it was real. I just felt again power leaving my body, I just couldn't even stand in his presence. And what happened is, he, he stood right before me, and he asked me a question. For the first time he spoke to me, you know, in English, those two days, he didn't say a word. But on the third day, he asked me a question, and he asked me, what would you like me to give to you? Now, what would you say when you heard this question from Jesus? I've had all the thoughts going through my mind, which my heart was full of, you know? 
because many times you don't even know what your heart is full of, but when it comes to the surface, you know, it's just full of all the tasks, all, all the claims that you want, everything that I want to be like this, I want to be the next Catherine Coleman, I want to be the next this and that and that, you know, I want this and want that. And I just felt it, just sharing everything with him. But suddenly I just felt the presence of Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit just revealed a big truth to me about the King of Kings who was standing right there before me. And he said, you know everything that you are asking for, everything that you have ever wanted, it's in him. He is the creator. He is all that you can ever dream of, that you can ever want. It's in Jesus. So when I had this truth revealed, I turned to him and I was crying at that point and I just asked him, can you be everything to me? Because all that I want is you. You know we have said that so many times, right? We have said that so many times and it became a cliche. But when you mean it, when you really mean it from your heart, it changes everything. And you know in that moment, I understood his heart. And his heart was wanting us to be one with him completely. Just as he is one with the Father, he was praying, right? That we would be one with him. And I started like praying, even asking him that I could be really one with him. Because it says in the word, you know, that if you are one with Christ, you are one spirit with him. Is that right? Tonight, I just feel like the Lord is saying to you, you know, like in the, in the life of Joseph, Joseph was in prison. Joseph was sold as a slave. He went through years and years of denial, unfulfilled promises, unfulfilled dreams, and just close your eyes right now. Because the Lord is speaking today, tonight. You know, He wants your heart. He tested Joseph to see whether he was really genuine, wanting nothing else but Him only. Would he have been content being in a prison, being a slave, and still love him, and still serve him. Because once his heart changed, God has changed his situation around. You know, everything is up to our hearts. Every single thing. Because the Lord has just revealed to me that money is not a problem to him. Healing is not a problem to him. Good relationships and anything we want, these are all just wants, these are all just things, but nothing is a problem to him. He can give actually anything in one single second, but what he cannot do without you is changing your heart. Because he wants your heart. He wants you. He wants you to say to him. He wants you to be revealed to you. And you would say to him from the depth of your heart that all I want is you. Not things. Just to be one with you. As you are one with the Father, I want to be one with you. And you know, as you pointed at yourself and said, Jesus is in me, let's just 
get deep into you tonight that Jesus is in you. He lives on the inside of you. And he wants to dwell there. He wants to abide inside. And he wants to be everything and everything. He's a good father. He's a good father. 